Hi guys, welcome to my 22 weeks pregnancy update vlog. If you watch our gender reveal video, you know that Nugget is so a Ellen girl. So Ellen and I had a very, very strong feeling that Nugget was a girl. Ever since the beginning of my pregnancy, we just both had something inside of us that knew that it was a girl. And also, I just felt like inside of me was not a pee, pee growing but it was a girl inside of me but i just always had that feeling and the weird thing is i also had a few dreams that nugget was a girl i never dreamt that nugget was a boy so we are just beyond beyond happy that she is a girl <laughs> and al and i always like dream of our first child being a girl because girls are I'm gonna awesome. read off my baby book here of the notes i wanted to update you guys on so last week we went in for our ultrasound appointment and our baby girl is looking super nice and healthy the technician said everything looks fine and normal and i haven't heard anything from my doctor so everything should be nice and healthy and normal with baby which i'm super super happy about and um it's so cute. During the ultrasound appointment, um, her hand was actually um, in front of her face. It's like she was like kind of like this in front of her face. So we didn't really get a clear shot of her face, but she just had her hand like going like this. It was just so adorable. But I'll add um, our ultrasound appointment footage for you guys right now, so you guys can take a look at how our appointment went. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. How can you tell? Um, just like the labia folds. Look at that. Uh, just the external genitalia on baby. Look at that. 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 Baby was a very, very good baby and spread it wide for us to see. So we got to know the gender of our baby and also um, the technician there took kind of pictures from head to toe to see if the baby's healthy and everything. So from basically the brain all the way down to the toes. And so far everything's looking good. So I'm super happy with that. And um, after our ultrasound appointment, the day after, Ella and I had our housewarming slash Christmas party with our family and that day we actually announced the gender of our baby to our family since we knew the day before. So after our ultrasound appointment, I really wanted to call everybody and tell tell everybody the good news but I'm like, since we're having everybody over the next day anyways, I'll just wait to tell them then. So um, yeah, we announced it to them and I actually vlogged the footage for you guys so you guys can take a look right yeah, now as well. You guys all yeah. want to know who's <laughs> in my tummy, right? Yeah, all right. Alan doesn't know it. Girl, girl, Is it a girl. boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. girl. It's a girl. Yes. 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 Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's a girl. It's a girl. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I talked to before. Before, first time I said, oh, right. yeah, because your baby's tiny. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be your niece, everybody. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Alan must be so happy. That's what you wanted. Are you guys surprised? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Even everybody on like YouTube and they're like, you're having a girl. You're having a yeah, girl. For sure. Yeah. You're glowing. Yay. Huh? We looked at it. But she looked underneath the baby. Yeah. And it was like a U and there was nothing there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's a girl then. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. Now we have Bird has a boy. You have a girl. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy has a little one boy, one girl. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Very okay. good, Alan. Very good. Oh, I should show you guys a picture. The yeah. head looks like exactly like Alan. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's the shape. I don't want to go get it. <laughs> Let me go get it. Now we have to put it in the You know how protective you're going to be now? You're going to be like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the garage, working out. Teenager. Don't mess oh, with my dad. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's so awesome. Aw, uh, so good. Happy. Yep. Our, all of our wishes came true. We knew A girl. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, you were so loud. You should have seen you, huh? You were jumping up and down. I wanted to grow so huh? bad. I wanted to grow more than she did. You were like screaming on the top of your lungs. I couldn't even finish recording because I got so excited. Yeah, well, I guess we'll make cupcakes after dessert. Yeah, we'll make cupcakes for dessert. Let's eat the roots. Okay. Let's get the dinner first. Okay. Well, That's awesome. Well Congratulations, thank you, Alan. Thank you, thank That's you, thank awesome. You. Wow. So as you guys can That's tell from the footage there, everyone was so incredibly happy for us, especially my mom and my sister Kim because they just always told me that it's a girl, it's a girl, it's a girl. So they were like super happy. If you guys can see from the vlog footage, there was one girl that was screaming ah, really loud. That was my sister Kim because she just wanted a girl so badly. <laughs> but um, yeah. That was just like an amazing moment. It was just like a good memory to have and I'll always remember that because it was just so crazy and like, you know, filled with love and happiness. So I love that. And then um, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys is during my, my ultrasound appointment went well, but then it says here, I have, I had a really small bladder. So on the directions like the doctor's requisition on the back it says you have to drink two cups of water two hours prior to the appointment and my bladder is so small that two cups really filled it up so i was getting like if you guys watched my vlogs you can tell that my face was kind of flush red afterwards because my stomach was like killing me and I didn't know if I could go to the washroom to go pee or anything but by the time I went into the appointment the ultrasound technician told me I have to go empty my bladder right now because I'm actually pushing the baby to one side so all she could see was the water inside my tummy so I thought that was pretty funny but I was like yes I can finally empty my bladder because it was like just killing me and I'm like how am I gonna last all through the appointment with my tummy being like this and I just needed to go pee so so bad so um, that felt really good when I had to empty my bladder <laughs> and like I said the technician took lots of pictures and measurements of the baby from head to toe um, and also she gave us a picture of Nugget which I'll go ahead and so go the back technician upstairs. actually printed out a picture for us this is Nugget's profile picture right here which I think is super super cute and down here is actually Nugget's heartbeat which she said is very very normal it's 155 beats per minute and this is what the profile picture looks like right here and if you guys watch my vlog I actually did a comparison because I think that um, Nugget definitely looks like daddy because I think the head shape looks like Alan and also the nose because it looks like Nugget's nose is super super big just like Alan's <laughs> I'll show you guys a little comparison, which I thought was really, really cute because I told Alan to pout as well. So if you guys can see right there, the head shape looks like Alan's and also the little pouting area as well. So I predict that Nugget's just going to look so just right after like my Daddy. ultrasound appointment, I did have my prenatal doctor appointment as well. So there was a lot of appointments going on that day. Um, so far, I've gained 10 pounds in my pregnancy and it just looks like I've gained it in my tummy, my face and my arms and my legs still look exactly the same. So 10 pounds just in my tummy area. And um, she said it's all normal and everything. My weight gain is going normal and healthy so far. And also doctor listened to baby's heartbeat and she says it's normal and healthy, which it always is. So I'm super, super happy with that. And I'm just so glad that everything's going smoothly. And the cutest thing ever, um, when she was putting that ultrasound machine on my tummy, Nugget didn't like how loud the, that machine is. So then I could feel her um, playing like hide and seek with the machine. She would like squirm to one side and squirm to the other side. So the doctor didn't really get a clear heartbeat until she um, Nugget stopped right on my right side because I guess she gave up <laughs> and then the doctor could finally count the heartbeats and everything so I thought that was just so cute and it's just so adorable that I can actually feel her moving and like feel what she's feeling at that moment so I thought that was really really super super cute <laughs> and then um, the doctor did say that she would find me a OBGYN but um, during that appointment she had not found me one yet 
but um, she told me if another four more weeks if I don't hear from the OBGYN office then definitely give her a call back and I might go back to you know basically my family doctor for my appointments until she can actually find me one so I don't have an OBGYN so as you guys know yet. throughout my pregnancy I've been taking my um, thyroid medicine because I have hypothyroidism so um, if you guys have been following me on my pregnancy updates you know that my dosage did went up the last time so um, my doctor did recommend me to go in to do another blood test so I have to go in to do another blood test to see if that up dosage worked for my hypothyroidism so I have to go in to do that and hopefully the dosage will go down a bit and hopefully everything's okay with that but I do have to go in for so another my baby test. center app here it says at 22 weeks your baby is starting to look like a miniature newborn and at 11 inches and almost one pound your baby is about the size of a spaghetti squash so nugget is definitely growing with each week <laughs> and um Remember how I told you guys I've been having those butterfly slash fluttering movements in my tummy? So basically those movements are completely gone. Now I feel like there's like a little snake inside of me or like a big worm squiggling around inside. So before I felt like it's like kind of like this, but now I feel like it's actually like a little worm going like this inside my tummy. So that's a little bit different in this update. It feels like a little, like kind of like a nudge a little bit. And it's just around kind of like my belly button area, but a little bit lower than that. And um, I feel that mostly um, right around when I wake up and also right when I go to bed. So basically morning and night. But I do feel it sometimes during the day as well. And I pretty much feel it every single day, which is so awesome because you can like, it's kind of like bonding. Like you feel like your baby's inside and she's moving and she's healthy and she's happy. So I kind of love feeling it every single day. And um, when I lay in bed, I have to lay, oh no, when I lay in bed, when I like lay on my left side, I feel like baby is sliding to the left side. And when I lay on my right side, I feel like baby is sliding to the, right, uh, to the right side, which I think is so, so cute. And it just feels like a little something inside of you, like a little ball. <laughs> so I find that really, really cool. So this really week cool. my skin has definitely been changing and definitely feel like it's challenging. But um, I feel like every time I have like a breakout or a pimple on my face, it doesn't go away as fast that, as it used to pre-pregnancy. And um, lately I've noticed I've had a lot of pimples along my hairline, just around my forehead area. So on the left side and the right side. I've never used to have that before, but lately I've been feeling, I've been actually seeing there's so many pimples on my left side, so many on my right side as well, but I think it's because um, of more oil production when you're pregnant. So um, that's what, that's another skin change that I've been experiencing. And it's all right, it's just pimples, but I've just been noticing because I've, I've never had any like problems with pimples along my hairline because I don't know it's just a little bit different for me so that's a new thing and my boobs have definitely gotten a lot fuller I can feel like my bra is a little bit tighter so I definitely need to go in to grab like a new bra size with probably the maternity ones where you can just breastfeed but they have definitely gotten a lot fuller now and um I notice when I take off my shirt there's like little green veins growing on the top of my boobs and I thought that was really weird but I read in my pregnancy app that that's completely normal and there's nothing you can really do about it to get rid of them. And I'm still using my bio oil and lotion on my tummy, my boobs and my butts and my thighs. And so far I have no stretch marks yet and the doctor actually mentioned that my skin around my tummy and everywhere else seems really healthy and moisturized so I'm doing a really good job which I'm happy about. And um, my baby bump has definitely grown a lot more since I last updated with you guys. <laughs> um, in, it's basically, it feels like it's in the way now. So um, I'm having, when I was cutting my toenails the other day, I had such a hard time cutting my toenails, especially like the pinky area, the pinky toenail. I had to go like, ugh, I was like really 
challenging, especially if you want to get like nice and neat and in a good shape. I was just having the most hardest time, so I'm definitely gonna have to go in for like pedicures or even ask Alan to help me um, cut my nails, but that's what has But yeah, done. even when I'm brushing my teeth, and I like to bend over the sink when I'm brushing my teeth so it doesn't get everywhere, I noticed that I'm having a hard time because now that the belly is in the way, it's harder to kind of um, lean over the sink for a long period of time. and. When I'm standing and washing dishes, my back tends to hurt a little bit more. I always lately. have like little conversations with baby since she can hear now. I just like I just like talk to my belly and everything because it's kind of like cute that she can hear me and I just like to have conversations with her even though she can't respond back. At least she kind of recognizes my voice and everything. And when Alan talks to her, um, to my belly or to baby, it just really melts my heart because I, I just see how good of a dad he's gonna be. It's just like, it's like his little baby, his baby girl, right? So <laughs> it just melts my heart. And he's he just says like the sweetest little things to her. Like every time he talks to her, I just think, I just think it's just so adorable. And I just feel like I'm so blessed and I feel like there's so, so much love going on. Here's my at 22 weeks pregnant. As you guys can tell, I've definitely gotten a lot bigger since my last pregnancy update. But as you guys can see as well, it's all, the weight is pretty much all at my belly area. And here's what it looks like at the front there. I'm gonna lift my shirt up here so you guys can see as well. Here is what my belly looks like as well at 22 weeks. And it's so funny, every time I lift up my shirt, I can feel um, nugget moving around inside because I think she's cold so she's kind of like squirming a little bit right now but also I didn't tell you guys that my belly button looks like it's kind of like stretching a little bit and use my belly button used to have like you know a little hole inside but it's been stretching as you guys can see there so I found that kind of interesting this week as well but here is what my belly looks like at 22 weeks so that's pretty much it on my 22 weeks pregnancy update vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me and I shall catch you guys on my next one. Bye guys. Love you. Bye.